Good morning guys, it is Wednesday morning and I have an idea for a dress. Essentially, it's a very small sort of bra top with the fullest, most hopefully horizontal, large skirt you can imagine, just exploding outwards from under the bust. Now, I don't know for sure if I have enough tool to make the skirt as big as I want it, but I'm gonna do my best with what we got. The other thing is, I think I can make this whole entire dress today, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm basically just gonna bring you along on my journey, trying to make this dress today. The only thing I don't know yet is what I wanna make the top part of the dress out of, so let's go take a look in the supply closet. Please don't judge me on the messiness of this supply closet. So here's all the tool. It's quite a lot, honestly. Yeah, okay, black velvet. We could use black velvet, velvet. And I think this would be nice. It would give it more of like a fancier kind of feel. And we also just have like a ton of it. Also, this is like windbreaker nylon material. So I was thinking like, the tool is see-through. It's gonna need something under it to like give it body. But if I put the nylon under, it might just help the skirt stand out more and be more like horizontal, like I was saying. That'll give it so much body and the tool will just sit on top of it and look like there's more tool there than there actually is. Yeah, I feel good about that. So let's just take it all. Granola, be right back. While I was flipping the granola, I remembered that we're gonna need bra straps and elastic. Fold over elastic might be helpful. Quarter inch elastic, definitely helpful. Ah, there we go. Bag of bra straps. So I think we need to start by sewing the bra top part. I already have, well actually I have several patterns for bras because I used to sell underwear. We can basically choose from my pre-existing bra patterns, get the one that's my size, cut it out, sew it up, and then all we have to do at that point is cut rectangles out of this tool. While cutting these bra pieces on fold, I had to consider whether I wanted this top to be two layers or just one. After being uncharacteristically decisive, I committed to it being only one layer since velvet's pretty thick. Next up, I had to switch the serger from white thread back to black. Then I sewed the side seams and added some elastic to the front and back necklines. Got the neckline elastic zigzag down and did the exact same thing for the underarms. Next up, I made some adjustable bra straps and attached them. So we have a bra top. If we wanted this to be a bra, we could just sew some elastic on the bottom. But I want this point right here, this line, to be where my skirt just bursts forth from. I think we need to start with the tool, and I think we need a thick band of elastic underneath here for the tool to sort of grab onto. I have 200 yards of branded elastic in that cubby back there. So let's go on a mission. Found it! Now I just need to find the end. <laughs> okay, so I got the elastic. So I think I'm just gonna measure this around my bust. Sew it so it's a continuous loop. At that point, we just gotta start cutting some tool. I took a lunch break, I went downstairs to get a snack, and Wyatt had made us lunch, which is so sweet. Now, we're going outside to collect peonies. I wanted to avoid getting ones with like an extra bulb on them like this, because this might loop still. So I wanna only cut the ones that have just this. Panic for a second, because one of them had an ant on it. Okay, ready? Last peony. Look at this. Isn't that just the best? Oh my god, okay, I don't know where to put them now. Where should we put these, you think? Maybe on the kitchen table for today? peonies. Every year at spring I get so excited because we have a bush out front and it springs forth peonies for the spring. Now it's time to cut a skirt. Utilizing literally all of the floor space that I have in my loft, I'm just laying out the tool lengthwise and cutting it into 60 by 18 inch chunks. Two chunks will make up one layer of skirt. Fun fact, the tool is all wrinkly and was stored all bunched up because it used to be curtains downstairs. Dude, 
there's gonna be drums and there's nothing we can do about it. A memoir by Lindsay MacDonald. <laughs> <laughs> literally my autobiography okay i cut all the tool pieces i thought of something else first it's gonna be a small issue the lindevel elastic is white and black and i realized that the way that i'm gonna sew this you'll be able to see the elastic through the first layer of tool and so i can't have it showing through that there's branding under there it doesn't make any sense and i also don't have any plain black elastic as those words left my mouth, I looked over at my rolling rack and realized I have this plain black elastic. That means I dug around for the Lindevel elastic for nothing. The other thing that I thought about, with this leftover tool that I have, two things. I could turn it into sleeves and make these weird little like puff sleeves that just come around here. But I also want this dress to not be too ballet-ish. So I might turn them into pom-poms and just sew them randomly to the dress. The designer, Lyrica Matoshi, the designer of the infamous now strawberry dress, has a couple of designs where she's got almost like these long nightgown type things out of chiffon, it looks like, with these big, big, big pom-poms like just stuck like along the hem or on various spots on the garment. And so I think it looks super cool. I'm gonna borrow her idea and make some pom-poms, I think, and just stick them all around my dress and maybe do the sleeves as well, maybe not. Let's get to cutting nylon. First step in sewing up the skirt is to gather up and attach the nylon base layer to the elastic. After that, it's a whole bunch of the same. Just fighting with the tool and gathering it up. Also a bit of dancing. And a cute ass interruption. What are you doing? Bring this up. Oh my god, that's so sweet. How come? The kitchen smells so good. And I was like, there's nobody in the kitchen. This oh my shame. gosh. Thank you for being on. <laughs> then some more tool gathering. Damn, that's a full skirt. Feeling good about it, feeling good. The only thing that I kind of wish is that I had gathered up some tool and put it over the bodice. Because you can't really tell on camera, but I feel like the difference between the tool and this velvet is like too much for me right now. And I kind of wish it was all just gathered tool. And I could go ahead and do it, but it's already done and it looks so good. I think I'm just gonna leave it with the velvet and I might put some pom-poms high up or even like here and here or something. So all we have to do at this point is serge the top to the bottom. Technically at that point it's a finished dress, but I'm gonna go ahead and make the pom-poms. Don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. Once they're made <laughs> and attached to the dress, we're done. Turns out the ingredients for pom-poms are some tool, cardboard, and a couple bowls from your kitchen. Once your circles are cut out, you just have to cut another smaller circle in the middle and then wrap that tool. Oh my god, it's like those little soot things from Spirited Away. <laughs> this is the cutest thing I've ever made on this whole channel. <laughs> I cannot take the heat any longer. I need to turn all these lights off and go make these pom-poms outside. I've got all my palms almost done. All we gotta do is go up there and sew the bust dress. I have all of my soot spreads made. All that's left to do is pin them to the dress and hand sew them on. Attaching these palms was the best way to end this day of dressmaking. Hand sewing is so relaxing. I did it in one day. I may potentially make mesh gloves above the elbow gloves. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm gonna see if I have time for that before we go out and shoot this dress somewhere. See you then. Mm -hmm.